of people to be like, she must be a bitch. She's got to be a bitch. If everybody's saying she's a bitch, then she must be a bitch. I think that's, I think that's fascinating to me because, because I don't know what value that has in their lives. I think that's what trips me out about it because I have not, I'm not fucking with Trump. I'm not degrading black folks. I'm not out here being a Fox News commentator. Like people legit don't like me. One, because I don't, one, there's a lot of people don't like me because I just really don't care about their fake phony shit and I don't keep up appearances to make them feel like their fake phony shit is not noticed. Two, on like a on an internet scale, people just don't like me because a lot of times they literally just are not, are misinterpreting shit that I say. And then three, you know, people don't like me because of their own shit. Four, there's a bonus. Some people don't like me because of an interaction we had. I could have had a bad day. Um, I could have just been sank that, that day. Or more often than not, they did some fuck shit. And I call them out on it. Nonetheless, it is fascinating to watch people so enthusiastic about your downfall when you have dedicated your whole life to the upliftment of them. Truly, it is really like a, it's like a paradoxical thing to witness. You know, and, and I'm, I mean, I'm a sensitive person, um, but more, more importantly, I'm an intellectual. And so at this point, I'm just looking at it like, like, well, she must be a bitch. All these people can't be wrong. Okay. So then what? <laughs> so then what? So now we have established Amanda Seals is a bitch. Now what? See, the thing is, I know who I am and I know I'm not a bitch. You know, a bitch is somebody who mean for no fucking reason. You know, if I'm staying nine times out of ten, like, there's a reason. You may not be the reason. The reason might be my mood. The reason might be some shit I'm going through. The reason might be the person. But there's always a reason. There's always something behind my uh, my ire. Nonetheless, when people say things like, if everybody is saying she like this, then that must be what it is and she need to change. I think that you reach a certain point in your life where you're like first of all everybody don't think I'm a bitch and I'm a quality over quantity kind of person and and I think that we can all agree that there's way more trash ass people in this world than there are quality people and the quality people be fucking with me they do they be fucking with me heavy and a lot of the times it's I, I, I've experienced my entire life People who have created these uh, opinions and then they come back later. But but really, the whole point of me talking about this is just addressing the, uh, you know, sometimes you got to take yourself outside of things and you just look at it from the outside and you're like, wow, like this was what people spent their day doing, discussing my existence. And I don't know if that has any bearing on their support of my work or not, but it was just something that was interesting to them. (laughs) And that is fascinating to me in a very real way. Fascinating. But for the record, I am not a bitch unless you bitch made. But I'm fine.